एक्स्ट्रा टाइम We're not going to sort of cover Sam, Sam's situation, but can you just give us a, an overview as a player uh, what this week's been like getting into a game, but also dealing with the, the, the testing, the social distancing where you can, sanitising. It's been a bit of a different experience for you. Yeah, different, but nothing that I'd say is like real strange. I think obviously we've been in it a while now, so actually... Um, Sort of that social distance size is probably coming a little bit normal. Um, the tests are obviously um, got to do them, which is fine. It takes five, ten seconds. Um, but other than that, mate, it's, I think it's been really good. I think the prep that everyone's sort of done, and obviously we're two days into this game now. It's, I think it's been it's been really good. When we were speaking to James, he said that that it felt really weird being in complete silence. Uh, are you someone that thrives off the, the the atmosphere in the ground, and would you like some sort of artificial noise piped in? Yeah, it's an interesting one. Um, I think it certainly is. It is strange, but also um, I have been used to playing in the second team quite a bit. <laughs> so actually, like, and it's 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 probably a bit of an advantage for me. Is I'm obviously still. I think we're all getting up for it, and it's. I think for the likes of Brody, Jimmy, um, those guys who've been around for it a lot longer, it probably does feel really weird. But I guess for me, it's, I guess I'm sort of used to it in terms of, I've been around the second team quite a bit, um, sort of been grafting that way. And there's, a, I guess, a man and his dog there and probably they won't be here. But I think, um, I think I would be used to it and I don't think it will change sort of myself or my routines. Um, again, if I do play, we're playing test cricket for England. It's obviously an absolute honour and um, I'll be making sure that I switch on as much as I can because there'll be certainly a lot of people watching behind the screens. I imagine as well, after all this, after all this time we've all had, not, not being life as usual, just to get a ball in your hand and ball in a, in a form of competitive match must have been a nice feeling and to get through 20 overs, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, I got through 20 overs today, which is a little bit different standing out in the field. Obviously, haven't been used to that for a while, um, but it's been really nice. Um, like I said, it, the ball's actually coming out, out really nice in my hands still. Um, I was probably a little bit nervous when we sort of first came back, but um, I've tried to get in as many overs as I can and, and sort of really um, make sure that it feels normal again. Um, but like I said, yeah, it's coming out really nicely. And obviously, you've you've sort of grown into the side in the in the last few months of cricket over the winter and what have you. Do you do you feel like the the spinning position in the team is is your position for one of the other guys to grab away from you? Um, good question. I think uh, certainly in my head, I'm I'm obviously wanting to wanting to start. I think all three spinners would obviously or four spinners, five spinners we've got actually. So obviously looking to push um, that side, and I think that was a real big challenge for me is actually just making sure that when I do come in, um, come into the, these, this sort of arena and sort of practice games and that side of it, making sure that I just really focus on what I can do. Um, and I think I've done that really well. And, and like I said, I just want to make sure I put myself in the best position possible. But when the, when the decision does come, um, I've given it my all really. And is the is the sort of benefit of a, of a, a practice game like this into squad? Do we see that in in the way you go head to head with Ben Stokes? He gives you a couple of hits, and then you bounce back strong. Yeah, I think. Do you know what? It's it's real good. It's really good challenge actually today bowling against Stokes. See, I I thought I genuinely did him um, on one of them, and he just somehow on the up hit it over extra cover for six. And I was just thinking like this. This is why he's probably one of the best in the world. Absolutely nowhere near it, and he still middles it for six. So, um, again, it's a really good challenge for me. Um, and like you said, I'd like to think I bounced back strong. Um, again, I've, it, it was nice. It, again, it's just nice to be back playing competitive cricket. Um, obviously, it's between ourselves, but give it, give it six days now. I think it's, 
it's going to be West Indies. So um, it's making sure we get that competitive edge um, as soon as possible, I think, because certainly I think the West Indians, when they do come in, um, they're certainly going to come in hard and fast. Okay, uh, John Etheridge, please. Tom, oh, hi. Um, how many overs do you bowled so far for today in for practice? Today. Quite a lot, I think. Um, I'm a big one to bowl a lot of overs. Um, so you take sort of the month I had at Somerset when we were training. Um, I was probably pushing Jason Kerr down there to, to bowl as much as I could. I, I had to be told a couple of times to stop and sort of make sure that I build, build my way back. But I, I certainly am trying to bowl as much as I can um, to get that feel back, get that rhythm, um, all the little things. So, yeah, I, I, I just want to make sure I do as much as I can before sort of obviously selection. People talk about, you know, miles in the legs and overs in the legs, but they, they kind of often mean quicker bowls. But the same applies to the spinners as well, I guess. 100%. I, I would probably even say more because you certainly got to have that feel, that feel off the finger. Um, I talk about my rhythm as well. I think sort of my bounds in, into my rudder is really important. And for having such a long time off and actually doing so much sort of this winter on it, um, I was a little bit nervous coming back into it. So I really wanted to make sure I sort of nailed down those fundamentals and, and actually, again, like I said, put myself in the best situation. But I'm, I'm really happy with how it's coming out at the moment. Do you feel a lot more confident uh, around the England setup uh, after what you did in South Africa? Oh, before that, I think. I, I, I've always said before, before I went to um, South Africa and my, my first couple of games and the training I've been involved, the squad, this whole squad, uh, we've got such a good culture and it's so open and easy to come in and be yourself. And I think obviously getting a Pfeiffer um, back in the winter, I don't think it changed me. It just gave me obviously confidence to play Test Match cricket and feel that I belong there. Um, but certainly going to, uh, going to South Africa, um, I, I, was, I was welcomed so, so well back into the squad. And that's, that's I guess that's, that shows a lot on sort of Rooty, Stokesy, the senior players, um, Joss, Brody, Jimmy, to allow us youngsters to come in and be ourselves. Um, and certainly, obviously, with the coaching staff, they've obviously been awesome with us. And it's, it's nice to see sort of like James Bracey, I know him quite well, um, him come in. Obviously, it's his sort of new environment. And I think he's, he's thrived from it. He's, I think he's felt very welcoming, which is, I think, a really good and strong position to be in as, a, as England cricket. And finally, for me, I mean, uh, if you do hold on to that, Spinner's position. I mean, that'd be quite an achievement because there's a lot of competition. As you say, there's five five spinners down there now. And I mean, everyone knows about Moen, what he offers with the bat, his home record, and uh, Jack, of course, is, is one of your best mates. So to cling on to that spot would be quite an effort, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Um, and sort of with what's gone on, I think I think it would be it would be a good achievement. But also with that, it also brings a lot of responsibility to make sure that actually I'm still. Um, I'm still bowling the best I can and, and actually a big thing I want to do is obviously sort of push that spot and make it my own. Um, and that's, that's a, I don't think that's, that's a sort of give, I think that's normal because if you're in our position, you want to be making that first 11 um, and we've got amazing competition. I think that's what's so good. And, and there's no sort of um, spitefulness or anything like that. It's, we help each other. Um, we're looking to improve each other. And it's really nice to actually see Mo again, um, learn off him. Obviously, we've got Parky as well, who I'm really close with. Leachy, I'm really close with. We've got Verz as well, that I've been on a lot of tours with. So, actually, that whole group, it's, it's great to sort of um, intertwine with each other, chat about spin. Um, it's just nice to, I guess, be back with, with a group of lads playing cricket. Okay, we'll take two more, Lizzie, and then we'll finish with Matt from Quick Info. Uh, hi, Dom. Hi, oh, yeah. Uh, um, last night when we were speaking to James, he said that, that it felt really weird being in complete silence. Uh, are you someone that thrives off the, the, the atmosphere in the ground, and would you like some sort of artificial noise piped in? Yeah, it's an interesting one. Um, I think it's certainly... Hi, Dom, can you hear me okay? Yes, mate. Um... I'm sure it's probably been mentioned at training how many uh, right-handers West Indies have in their, in their team and their squad. 
Um, do you think that puts you at a disadvantage at all as, a, as an off spinner turning it into the right-handers? Or do you think, you know, performances in South Africa over the winter and then in training and today put you in a good place for selection? Yeah, I, it's funny you talk about right-handers, left-handers. Good off spinner or a good spinner is going to take wickets no matter what. Um, you're going to be threatening on the inside or outside edge. I know sort of Hampshire, I know a couple of years years ago, obviously there was big footholes and, and Mo sort of, Mo took a fifer down here with footholes to the right-handers and I, I don't see any different. I think if you're bowling well um, and you've got footholes there, you're going to be challenging to a right-hander, let alone a left-hander. Um, and I think... It's not much to say, really. I know they've also got one, uh, one lefty. I wouldn't mind, obviously, a couple more lefties, but I'm, I'm very happy bowling at right-handers as well. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.